Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal and today I wanted to do a quick video regarding my method for uh, doing a Google takeout of my email periodically. Now we talked about Google Takeout before that it's really better understood not really as a backup tool because restoring from it tends to be either impossible or very difficult. And it's also a full, if it, to the extent that it is a backup tool, it's a full backup, which isn't ideal at all. It just kind of dunks down all your data. Now, there are other products that have attempted to make Google Takeout more efficient and useful for specific products. But today, we're just going to be doing a takeout if you need a periodic dump of your email. So here is a Google Takeout, and here is my methodology. So firstly, for just email, I'm going to deselect all. So I'm going to just zone in on the email aspect of my Google footprint. So I just scroll down a little bit, you'll get to mail. So I'm going to firstly click on mail to select it in my takeout. Now here is uh, what I would recommend. The default behavior is of course just to keep clicking through, but I would recommend pulling it out label by label. And I'll explain why that's more useful in a second. So you have this operator here called all mail data included. And by default, it just says, okay, we're going to just scoop out everything of your Gmail. Now, the issue with that is that it's going to give you one file in the format called .mbox. And .mbox, you can import that into Mozilla Thunderbird and other programs, but it's one giant kind of chunk of your email, if you will. So I, when I'm trying to think about backup and why I might want to back something up, back up this data, I think, okay, what would I be looking for? And in my case, it would be probably a specific email label. Just a chunk. I wouldn't want really to in, to get the whole thing back or to uh, check through the uh, all my email in its entirety. I'd be looking for something more specific. So I would tick this off and that's going to then kind of tick off all the labels. But what I do is I actually then click select all. And this just means that I'm going to be taking everything in the Gmail, but instead of getting it as one M M box, I'm going to be getting a different M box for each label. So that's my methodology. Now, if there's stuff you want, you definitely say, okay, I don't need, you can do that. But you can see here with some of my, some of my uh, inbox labels are like accounting invoices, accounting receipts. So I can definitely see a situation in which I say, okay, I need to uh, check out, check my backup of my Google workspace, my Gmail, and I need to just pull, I, there's something that is gonna be in the old emails I might have since deleted in the uh, label called invoices. Okay, so once you've done that selection, the rest is, is pretty straightforward. You click next step, and then you have the option here uh, regarding the file type. If, like me, you're on Linux, you can utilize tar.gz to export this into smaller chunks. But uh, if we're talking about uh, backing this stuff up onto optical media, which I know not everybody does, uh, but if you're watching this YouTube channel, you might share my interest in uh, Blu-ray and M-Disc for cold optical storage. And this would, in my opinion, be a pretty good use for it. This isn't really data you would be accessing frequently, if ever. It's just there as a protection for your cloud data. So I would uh, tend to go over 10 GB if you are uh, pulling stuff down. Then create an export and depend this this process they say can take days. I had to wait about 12 hours for my email because I guess I've got quite a lot there. And let's see what that brings down. So this is the product of the Google Takeout. So I got the email notification and then I downloaded it in uh, six TGZ files and they're about five to six gigs each. So I've got different slices of my email. So what I did here is that this is using Ubuntu, um, but if you're using Windows, you can get a similar, similar view. Uh, I'm going to inspect the first of these and uh, it's going to be quite chunky. So it's going to take a couple of minutes simply to, uh, to give us a preview of what's in the archive. So I'll just pause the video and unpause that when we can see it. Okay, so now that, that that's been done, we can look at the internal structure of this TARGZ. So we're going to click on takeout and you can see that it was a 5.4 um, gigabyte archive that actually was housing a 10.6 GB file. So there's quite a good amount of compression there. So click into takeout, click into mail. You're going to get this for each 
of the archives and you can see here why I did it this way, right? Under each um, of the freelance clients, for example, the label, current clients, old clients, financial, family, by sender, uh, etc. I have an individual inbox file for each label in my email. So let's say I wanted to go for a financial banky good, some data I might want to retrieve. So what I can do here is click extract and that way I can pull just that label onto my desktop. So I'm gonna just click extract here, financial, and then it's going to pull that out, um, just that individual inbox file rather than the entire thing. And you can see that on my desktop, I now have financialbankigood.mbox. So if I just wanted to take a look for that email, I'd be able to isolate this a lot quicker. Now, uh, when I'm burning the disks, sometimes I like to burn, extract just all the mboxes and burn them just as a file, or you can just burn the archives and inspect them this way if you have a need for the data. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Until the next video.